Hope you'll join me this Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern for Success Again on CRN1 on CRN. Yeah, that's right, baby. That's right, baby. We are back. You're listening to the Original Sports Show, and I'm your host, Leopold Jeans, the big OG, baby. Yeah. My name is FCA. I got a license to ill. <laughs> Rest in peace, FCA. You gave us so many memories. So much great music. Oh, man, the Beastie Boys. When the Beastie Boys first came out, I mean, if you weren't alive, you would have wished you were alive because they were so good. And then we heard them on the radio, and we listened to them. And then you found out that they were three white guys from Brooklyn. And you're like, wow, hip-hop is changing. And these guys were the hottest thing out. I mean, they made me run out and grab a 40 ounce of Mickey's. I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> oh, man, I love that. Keep bumping that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Beastie Boys. Oh, man. You know, and that's what this show is all about. It's about hip-hop, sports, love, life, and everything else in between. There's nothing that we don't cover. And you listen to Leopold Jeans, the big OG on CRN Digital Talk Radio, Bighorn Productions. The number to call in today is 1-866-CRN-TALK. Once again, that's 1-866-CRN-TALK, baby. Wow. Okay. Let's get back into this next segment here. Oh, wow. So, you know, there's we had some stuff going on. And, you know, I guess I'm going to go ahead and talk about Junior Seau a little bit here. Um, you know, that's such a tragedy. Tragedy. Junior Seau. Oh, man, this guy was my idol in high school. Number 55, Samoan out of Oceanside, my main man. You know, you grew up in Southern California. You have a lot of Pacific Islander friends, man. And I grew up, you know, uh, some of my Samoan and Tongan friends, some of the nicest people in the world. They, they bring you into their family and they keep you. <laughs> if anybody ever wondered what like having a Pacific Islander friend is, they bring you into the family and they keep you for like three days and they feed you and they give you drinks and then they, they consider you their family. If anyone, you know, if you grew up in Southern California, you know what I'm talking about. If you're from the South Bay, from Carson, Torrance, um, Long Beach, you know what I'm talking about. But Junior Seau coming out of Oceanside, California, this guy was a phenom. Made the number 55 legendary at USC, the University of Southern California. Was a beast in college. Was a beast in the pros. 12-time pro bowler, Junior Seau. Suicide tragedy. Many people are, there's lots of speculation in the air. You know, um, it's, it's a shotgun blow to the chest. Really sad, you know, and the speculation is that people are like, is it the concussions? Is it steroids? Is it, you know, just depression? Um, you know, he had that issue where he drove off the road uh, a few months ago. Might have been like uh, maybe over six months ago. He drove his car off the road and they blamed it on, you know, lack of sleep. So there's all these little signs leading to, uh, you know, his, his sadness. You know, you lose your family, you, you lose everything you love. You know, things, you know, you go through mental sadness. It's just part of life. You know, I, I went through the same thing recently. I, I mean, I went, <laughs> I don't even want to get into my, my divorce. But, you know, Junior Seau, and you know, the mental separation and anxiety of leaving the game is also an issue. People don't, that don't play pro football don't know about this. I mean, I only played college football for three years, you know, before I ran off and joined the Marines. But when I didn't play football anymore, I was sad. I couldn't go. You know, I had a bad ankle injury, and I just couldn't go. And I was sad. And if you play football, you know, and you're in a locker room, getting hurt is just as bad. It's like being a lion who can't kill anymore. The tribe leaves you behind. They leave you behind because you're not a contributor anymore. 
But with Junior, there was other things going on, man. And, you know, my personal opinion about this, and this is based off of experience, okay? I'm going to tell you what I think led to this. You know, yeah, he had the anxiety. Yeah, he had the depression. Yeah, he was sad about, you know, what was happening in his life. But a lot of this is reaction to prescription drugs that are prescribed to people for depression. And I'm, I'm telling you this from firsthand experience. The reaction to the drug prescribed to you by your doctor or pharmacist, doctor and then pharmacist, um, is, 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 it can change a lot of things. It can make you react irrationally. And I'm telling you this from firsthand experience <laughs> with the X. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more when we come back on the original sports show. And I'm your host, Leopold Jeans, the big OG. The number to call in today is one eight six six CRN talk Give us a call, baby. We're going to talk about this in depth and get into this. All right, baby, we will be back.